that you guys have lower national, tuition. Yeah, yeah, way lower. That healthcare and and st student. We pay for it with taxes, yeah. right? Yeah, but it's worth it. I mean, I've said time and time. Look, I I believe in a hybrid form of of governing in a hybrid form of, of culture. And I think that um, I support a lot of socialized ideas. Sure. And one of the reasons why is because I see socialism work with the fire department, with the police department, with, with things that we all agree that we're gonna chip in and pay for. And the fact that we don't do this with healthcare, that you know, if my neighbor gets sick, the community has to chip in. God damn it, that guy's been paying taxes his whole life. He's a, a, a viable part of the community. We should be taking care of our own. This should be a primary thing, like this, to strengthen our community, to strengthen our civilization. One of the primary things is we should be taking care of each other physically. Right. This should be, like, ab above all, right? Education. You shouldn't have to fucking be in debt a quarter million dollars if right. you get a, a fucking education. Don't we want less losers? Don't we want right. more people to have education? Don't we want more people to have some sort of pathway to success? Wouldn't that just logically lead to a, a stronger economy, a, a stronger community, a stronger civilization? Wouldn't it? Wasn't that logical? Let me give a devil's advocate, advocate answer. To the extent that there are now no longer any barriers to entry to get into university, certainly in Canada, at least not a financial one, you get, I think, a misallocation of talent and resources where everybody feels compelled to go to university, where in reality, many of the folks in question, and believe me, I'm the last guy to argue against education, right? I'm, I'm all about lifelong learning, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be through the formal channels of getting a degree. Right, right? but it's not compulsory. Uh, well, it is compulsory unofficially in that it is now no longer acceptable to not have at least some entry-level degree. Well, then we should concentrate on that as an issue. Right. Okay. That should enough. be the issue, not this idea that somehow or another education should be expensive, so it should be difficult, so it should be something that's only sought out by people who Fair really enough. deserve it. Fair enough. Uh, so, so I agree. It should, the barrier to entry shouldn't be that you know it's the finances that don't allow you to pursue your interests. Yeah. Uh, but I know, I mean, just as a professor for 25 years now, there are students that I see very early in a, in a given semester that I know they're not there they for intrinsic, or they're not there for intrinsic reasons, right? right? Yeah. They just don't have the sparkle in their eyes and no amount of coaxing on my part is ever going to bring them out. I mean, I try, I, I think everybody's right. redeemable, but you can tell that they're there because they don't have it. Maybe those people would have had a much more lucrative trajectory where they pursue trade school. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so I think we have to also be careful about how to allocate the talent that we have. I no that that absolutely makes sense and I think that is most likely played out over the difficulty of pursuing an education. Right. Just like it is with everything else. Right. Every everything else like whatever whatever you try if you want to be a stand-up comedian. It's not everybody gets to do Carnegie Hall. Like there's there's a there's a weeding out process of the difficulty of achieving success. And there's a lot of people that fall by the wayside and don't make it. And this is just natural. It's a natural part of the process. But right. if you say not everybody's a comedian, that's true, but open mic nights available to everybody. True, and that's uh, why there's so many comedians that actually are good because they do find it through because there's no financial barrier to entry. If it cost, you know, thirty five thousand dollars a year to pursue a, an education in comedy, and you had to be two hundred thousand dollars in debt before you could make a living on the road, right? There wouldn't be a goddamn thing to laugh at. <laughs> <laughs> there wouldn't. There'd be none right. of us. Right. There'd be zero of us. And that's not a good ex. It's not a good example because obviously comedy is one of the rare things that is a self-educated process. You have to you're self-taught. There's no other way. Right. You just have to pursue it. But I think this the rigidness of university studies. You know yeah. the the rigidness of courses of of determining what people should and shouldn't learn, what they should and shouldn't be educated in. Who you know, and the the also the the randomness of the professors that you get. Like, you could get you and get a wonderful education, I'm sure. Thank you. Or you can get some dipshit and get taught right. about, you know, how gender is a social construct. <laughs> right. And, you know, and you're sitting in class all baffled looking at your penis going, what have you done to me, <laughs> you fucking monster? Uh, 